Husha Hosea 5. Hear ye this, o, this, o priests, and hearken ye, house of Yashadael, and give ye ear, O house of the king. For judgment is toward you, because ye have been a snare on Mitzpah, and a net spread upon Tevor. And the revolters are profound to make slaughter, though I have been a rebuker of them all. I know Ephraim and Yashadael is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, you commit whoredom, and Yashadael is defiled. They will not frame their doings to turn unto their Elohim, for the Ruach of whoredoms is in the midst of them. And they have not known Eth Yahuwah. And the pride of Yashadael testifies to his face. Therefore shall Yashadael and Ephraim fall in their iniquity. Yahuda also shall fall with them. They shall go with their flocks and be their herds. Rather, and with their herds to seek at Yahua, but they shall not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously against Yahua, for they have begotten strange children. Now shall a month devour them with eth their portions. Blow ye the shofar in Giva, and the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at Bayat Aven after you, O Binyamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of Rebuk. Among the tribes of Yashadael have I made known that which shall surely be. The princes of Yahuda were like them that remove the bound. Therefore, I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment. Therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Yahuda as rottenness. When Ephraim saw at his sickness, and Yahuda saw at his wound, then went Ephraim to El Ash Shur and sent to King Yarev. Yet could he not heal you, nor cure you of your wound. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Yahuda. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away, and none shall rescue him. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction they will seek me early.